Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Chloe, I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights and I'm thrilled that you're joining me for today's video. If you don't already, please click that subscribe button so that you are ready for all of my future videos and also head over to Instagram and give me a little follow there so you can see all the behind the scenes stuff that goes on in my crazy day to day life. Now I'm gonna jump straight into today's video because if like me, you watch a lot of like beauty YouTube videos, then you have probably already seen something like this out there. What could it be? Drum roll. Yep, you probably guessed it because you've seen the title and clicked already, but you know, I like to do that for effect. Today we are talking about magnetic lashes. Now, not just the type that you can now get in boots, like where they come on a magnetic strip. Today we are going to be trialing the Lola's Lashes Magnetic Strip um, Lash System, which is pretty cool because I saw a video, um, well, I've actually watched two videos already um, on very similar systems and I was kind of like watching like is this gonna work I think I've seen Facebook ads for stuff like this too and I've been a bit like hmm is this one of those like Facebook ads where like the product looks absolutely phenomenal and then like you get it and it's rubbish but I was reading all of the reviews on these and actually they're pretty good so I was like do you know what I'm gonna give these a go and see how we get on and see if they are actually as good as they look and sound because if they are, this could completely revolutionize the way I do my lashes and most people do because I really struggle with like the normal glue technique. I don't know why. For years I have used them when I need to, but I still can't nail it. I don't know if the shape of my eye is really funny because like they always lose their stick in the inner corner. Um, I tend to wear them a lot in the winter months and then like when it's windy and stuff, I feel like I'm like, they're like flapping away. Like, have you seen that really funny gif where they're like blowing away? That's how I feel. So yes, yeah, so I thought, do you know what? The videos I've enjoyed watching on these um, are quite fun. So I thought I'd do one for you guys and I hope that you enjoy watching it. So as I said, these lashes are from Lola's Lashes. They do have um, four styles. So there's diamond, ruby, sapphire and rose quartz. I went for the sapphire style, which is kind of a little bit more glam than the normal, just um, emphasizing what you've got. I'm hoping that they're gonna be a, a good bridge between kind of something I can wear every day and could wear in the evening, but not too full on dramatic because I just thought while I'm getting this technique right, which I'm sure is gonna take a few tries, I was like, while I'm getting the technique, let's go for kind of like a middle ground. So the Sapphire seemed like a really good option. Now the set came in this little box like this and inside we have the actual lashes, which come in a beautiful Sapphire box like this. Um, I'll show you a close up of what these look like. Aren't they gorgeous? they look fab. Um, so those are the lashes. You then also get the um, the eyeliner, which is where the magic comes in because these are not normal magnetic strip lashes. The way they work is you put the eyeliner on and as it dries, it becomes magnetic. And then you should be able to just apply the lashes directly on top, click into place, done. No glue, just a magnetic eyeliner and magnetic lashes, which is pretty cool, right? Like I'm a bit of a sucker for like gimmicky type stuff. And if this works, this really could change the way I put those lashes on. So in the set you get these and then you also have um, one of these like buffing type, it's got velour on the side and I can't touch velour, um, but you get a pad like that, which I'm not actually sure what it's for. I actually just read and that's not actually anything. It's just a box filler. Fail. Um, but you also then get some um, cleansing oil, which is supposed to be able to like clean your lashes, take it off and stuff like that. So it's just a very nice little set. The set retails for, I think it's currently £40, but it may be slightly more than that usually. Um, let me have a look. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, 40, but usually 45. Um, I'll link below to where I pick these up from. You can have a look at the different styles and see which ones would suit you. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to give these a go. I'm going to try and put them on. And then I think I'm going to do the hairdryer test because do you know what? Like I said, winter's coming up, things get windy. So let's, my phone again. I'll turn that off now. Uh, things get windy in the winter. So what I'm gonna try and do is try the hairdryer test and see if they stay stuck on my eyes, which will be super exciting. I think this is gonna be a really fun video and I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so I should definitely say that I'm not the best with liquid eyeliner on my top line. I don't very often do a winged eyeliner either. So this could be very interesting for me. So the step one is to take the liquid eyeliner and then apply as you would with your like normal um, 
liquid eyeliner and it says that you're supposed to leave it to dry for like one or two minutes um, and then after that while it's still looking wet you should directly apply the lashes that way so we are going to give that a go and see if it works let's get a little bit closer okay so I brought you super close try not to be terrified so I'm going to go in with the liner and it looks a little bit thicker than the liner that I would be used to but I'm gonna switch to, we'll, we'll go in with this one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to use a mirror because I can't get close enough. So I'm gonna try and wipe off some of the excess and see what that is like. In we go guys. Okay, so that is a very rough line. Like I said, I'm not the best at applying this, um, but I think that's a nice thick line that should hopefully be good enough. Just gonna apply on the second eye again. I'm wiping off some of the excess on the top of the bottle. Okay, so when I put this on, I found that the liner was easier on this side than it is on this one. And this is actually my good eyeliner eye. So, I mean, I'm gonna visit this side this side. I'm going to try this side first. So we'll see. Um, that's been about a minute and a half. So I will say when I'm taking the lashes off of the band, I can feel the magnetic pull and I will just show you up close the magnetic band. Okay guys, in we go. I'm not the best at just dropping lashes on anyway. just dropped that in place and it worked. Guys, oh my god, I literally just dropped that in place, slightly shuffled the corner in. What? I literally am blown away, guys. Like, look. These are amazing. Oh my. I am, like I keep having to look in the mirror like, I can't believe how quick and easy that was. I mean, the lashes are a beautiful lash anyway. Like they just give me a nice emphasis on the eyes. But I, I, I know it sounds really bad, but I can't believe that they actually worked. Like, this is crazy. I'm not the best at eyeliner and yet, They've snapped into place. They feel really comfortable. I can kind of feel the bond, not in like an uncomfortable way or a heavy way, but like you can feel how they work in like a nice way. And I don't feel like they're restricted, like with like glue sometimes can feel a bit tight. I don't feel like that at all. And they look beautiful. I love them. I'm so impressed. But as I said, I think the big test is going to be the hairdryer test. So... Let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna be using my normal everyday hairdryer. Um, it's not a travel hairdryer, so it's like not like really weak or anything. I'm gonna turn the heat down in case I like boil my face. Um, and we're just gonna give it a go. I've never done this test, but I'm gonna just blow it on my face and see what happens and hope for the best. Like if this, if these lashes withstand this test, how quick they are, like, the fact that the bond feels quite strong, like I've just, I did try and just readjust one and it, it came off really easily, but not like so easy that it doesn't feel like it's secured in place. Like it was really easy to readjust. Um, and you know how like when you use glue on your lashes, like if you take them off after they've set, then you're screwed and you have to put the glue on again and wait for it to kind of go like tacky. This didn't have that problem because the magnetism, magnetism? <laughs> the magnets are still working. So let's try the hairdryer test. On, it's on, see? Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> oh. 
and they're still in place. And that was on my mid setting and my high setting. Guys, there we have it. It withstood the test of the hairdryer really perfectly. They are not coming off. They feel completely stuck in place and they look lovely. Like I thought this video was gonna be a bit of fun and like it could have been one of those where I shot the video and then I got to the end and they actually didn't work and I was like, actually that's going in the discard pile. Like I can't actually put that on my channel, but I'm blown away. Like I'm still a little bit dumbfounded and as somebody whose job it is to speak and talk and talk to you guys, like I am lost for words. These are so flipping good. I think you'll have seen my reaction was a bit like Wah. uh, But yeah, they're fab. I'm really impressed and I, yeah. 100% recommend these. If you struggle with lashes, you're gonna love them. So guys, there you have it. You have seen firsthand. I mean, literally you saw me put them on, you saw them withstand the um, hairdryer test. The Lotus lashes get a massive thumbs up from me. Like I do struggle, as I said, with the glue and the whole system with applying false lashes. So this is a pretty good alternative for me. And 40 pounds may sound expensive, but these clip on, clip off, that is so easy and it took me minutes and I have to readjust lashes when I use glue and stuff so much and I have to trim them and I have to just, I never get them on first time and then I get frustrated and I feel like they mess up the rest of my eye makeup. This is a perfect alternative and I am pants at applying liner and it was a really wobbly line and yet it's gone on, they look perfect, they look lovely, perfect for the day. I mean the sapphire ones are obviously the ones to go for if you want like daytime and nighttime kind of style. Um, but yeah, really impressed, what are you? think? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about these lashes and if there's something you'd treat yourself to because at the end of the day if you think about how much a decent pair of disposable lashes will cost you and how many wears you'd get out of them these are definitely a great alternative. So guys there you have it I hope that you've enjoyed today's video please give me a thumbs up if you have I will link below if you want to pick up your own pair of lashes um, I'll also link um, to my Instagram if you want to head over there and see these lashes in use because I'm definitely going to be using them in my Instagram pics going forward and please do make sure that you click that subscribe button so that you are ready to join me for the next video which is an absolute doozy and I'm excited for you to see it. All that's left to say is I'm still gonna go and sit in front of my mirror and just be like, how is this working so good? Cause I'm still a little bit dumbfounded. Yeah. Thanks for watching today's video guys. See you very soon.